Korean YouTuber left the slum. Okay, maybe you ever thought that, you know, you ever thought that he plucked the fruit before it was ripe? Huh? Ah, he, they accepted Islam in the first place because of clout for YouTube. Maybe they weren't ready yet. Are you telling me someone could leave Islam but they can't return? Yes! That's cute. They can't return. If you keep making them feel that way. Mara sub se important kaam yeh. Okay, value on acha yeh sirf Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ki. Oh, but brother, it was because of the hate comments. Why? Because he values people's opinions more than the opinion of Allah. It is difficult to pray. Who said it was easy? That's why we're getting paradise for it. Yeah, eventually it becomes easy, but in the beginning it's difficult. Deal with it. That's what happens. You got to go through that dip process of the difficulty to get on the other side of enjoyment. In the beginning it's going to be a little tough, but then you're going to fall in love with it. Way of Life SQ, keeping it a hundred. It almost feels weird doing this. I haven't recorded a video since I think Friday. Today is Tuesday. It's my first day recording a video back. Hope you guys have enjoyed uh, the Quran uh, Apple Watch social experiment. Go check that out if you haven't done so already. Uh, can we just start off with a thank you? Can, can we just start off with a thank you? I usually save these thanks you all the way to the end of a 20 minute video. I honestly don't know how long this video is going to be. Um, but I save it. I save it to the end of the video and I'm just like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Why don't I just give them the flowers now? Like, why would you wait to the end of dinner for dessert? Just eat the dessert now. Sometimes you're so full that you can't even have the dessert, right? These videos get so long that even if you love me, you can't even watch it at the end. So I can thank you. So I just want to take the first opening uh, segment of this of this, uh, you know, performance, this monologue, this dialogue, whatever you want to call it. It's not a dialogue, it's a monologue because there's no two-way communication. Uh, to thank you and tell you how much I love you and appreciate you and, and, and cherish, your, uh, cherish your presence and, and I value you. And that's what today is about, values. Values versus beliefs. Why are these YouTubers leaving Islam? Ah, uh, he, Allah sealed their heart. Perhaps, I don't know. Uh, he, they accepted Islam in the first place because of clout for YouTube. You know? Uh, he, the, the niya, the intention was wrong. Hence, rejected. Okay, maybe. I don't know. I don't know where you get these ideas from, man. Honestly, like, I love how we try to make meaning of things. And, okay, you're making meaning of things. You don't know any better than I do. Correct? Right? These are all, like, conjectures to some degree. And, um... <laughs> Someone's trying to park their car, but it's like there's no space. So I don't know. These are all conjectures. Like, if you could make meaning, why don't you make a more positive meaning? Maybe they weren't ready yet. Are you telling me someone could leave Islam, but they can't return? Yes! That's cute. They can't return. If you keep making them feel that way, can't they return? Can't they realize they made a mistake? Oh, God, he's going to hit someone's car. Ugh. Can't they change? Yes, they can. Yes, they can change. People can change. People can change. See, for some religions, it's a spectacle. It's a way for you to get clout. It is a way for you to get views. And I'm not thinking or targeting anyone in specific just in case your, your shaitan is whispering in your ear and making you think negatively of your brother and cause fitna between me and others. No. No. If I wanted to, I would have just said their name because I wanted to say their name. But I'm not interested in saying their names because there doesn't exist. These are just ideas. Have you ever asked yourself, why does conflict happen? I'm not talking about like between people, even though that's true too. But internally, why does conflict happen inside? It's because of these two things that these YouTubers who are leaving Islam are experiencing. And it's not just unique to them who's leaving Islam. It could be for sisters who's taking off their hijab. And I definitely recommend you watch this video right here. It was about when Asia took off. Sister Asia, she's my sister. She's my sister. When Sister Asia took off her hijab, uh, and, and you know, the basic ones, the ones who are simps, you know, the basics, they're just gonna think, that, oh, it's cute, talking about a woman's hijab. No, watch the video. Watch the video, you'll see that it's not about that. And honestly, I wouldn't make a video like that again. I, if I had to make a video like that, it'd be more different. That, even though it was me, I don't feel like it was fully me. I was, I was afraid of being myself, guys. That's the truth of the matter. I was afraid of being myself. I was being advised to not be myself. I was being advised, there was a leash over me. 
those videos that you're seeing, I know it's older and, and you know, though, though, like, you know, like, you know, alhamdulillah, I, like I said, what I met in it, I wasn't really being myself. I'm being myself now. I was recommended not to be myself. Oh, people don't want to see that. People want to see a four minute video, a five minute video, a seven minute video. Damn, I don't know how long this video is going to be. You think I come up for you here with this idea? No, I want to finish my thoughts. But that's cute. Then talk about it. Why do you go on these tangents? That's what I used to, uh, to edit. You ever seen those edits I had? I used to edit my tangents. I'm done editing my tangents. I'm done editing. I just want to just post it. Watch it. Watch it if you want to watch it. If you want to learn something, watch it. Who's more qualified? Many more people, not me. Your boy is not qualified. All right. Your beliefs and your values. Why is there conflict in your heart? When your beliefs and your values are not aligned, your heart does, does some garbar. Okay? Does some garbar. Your heart does this thing where it's trying to align itself, it's trying to balance itself, come to equilibrium. You see, and just like a scale that has to come to equilibrium, one side has to be balanced with something else. Hello, how you doing? And the other side has to be balanced also to maintain that equilibrium. Your body calls that homeostasis, right? Homeostasis, homeostasis, homeostasis. That's why you sweat. It's maintaining your homeostasis. Homo homeostasis. Oh, come on, guys. Get off me for a sec. I'm a math teacher, but I know the science too. <laughs> okay, let's go. So, if you, that's why you're, if you're cold, you start shivering. For me, I start walking around, right? So it heats my body up. Anyways, let's get back to this. Your heart has its equilibrium as well. One side is your beliefs and one side is your values. Okay? Follow with me for a second. Your beliefs are exactly what they sound like, your beliefs, you know, what you believe. You know, let's, let's give an example of a person. Um, maybe, let's talk about the hijab for a second, right? Let's talk about that because it's an easier example to give and then we'll build on to another example, okay? Let's start with a more simple example. How could that be a simple example, SQ? It's a simple one, okay. You believe that Allah has said that women should be wearing the hijab. You believe that, which all your heart, I believe it. But you value the fact that no one should tell a woman how they should dress. No man should tell the woman how they should dress. No, no person should tell them how they should dress. I, don't, I value having my own opinion. I value being my own boss. I value, you know, like doing what I want to do. Now, this person's wearing the hijab still. But internally, internally... That's what's going on in their mind. Whether they know it or not, consciously or unconsciously. So what happens is that when you're starting thinking about that, a system in our brain, a filter in our brain called the RAS, starts looking for answers. It's a filter in our, in our brain. Come on, on by, man. Don't worry about it. How's it going? God bless you. Have a beautiful day, okay? No problem, man. You don't think that was dawah? That was dawah, bro. That was dawah. Everything's dawah. What you want? Dawa. Okay. Beliefs and values. Something around that, right? I honestly, I don't know what I was talking about, you know? And, and you know, the fact that you're even seven minutes, eight minutes into this video and listening to me, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I'm no one this worthy of listening to. I appreciate you listening to me. You know? When your beliefs and your values are not aligned, your heart has friction. So this sister wears the hijab, but in her mind, in her heart, this is what's going on, whether she realizes it or not. Okay. So the RAS in her brain, the filter, starts looking for reasons to justify her values. Okay. Not her beliefs. You see, to justify the beliefs, you'd have to turn to the Quran. But in order for you to turn to the Quran, you have to value the Quran. What does that teach us, SQ? That the number one, numero uno, number eight, number eight, pella number. I'm gonna speak from Urdu. Okay, I'm speaking Urdu from now on, inshallah. Hamara pella number kam. Hamara subse important kam ye. Ke value on acha ye sirf Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ki. Inshallah. Ye hamara goal hai, ye hamara maksad hai, ye hamara objective hai. Ki hamara value Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ko worship karna hai, unki kitab hai, unke rasool hai. Wo hamara sabse pehla value hona chahiye. Or hamara beliefs ye sikhata hai. 
कि अगर हम उसको वैल्यू करेंगे तो हमें वैल्यू मिलेगा अपने दिल में हमारे दिमाग में हमारे परेशानियों से जब आपके बिलीफ्स और वैल्यूज एक साथ अलाइन नहीं होते काफी गड़बड़ होने लग जाती है दिल में डिसीजन जो आपको पता थी पता थी गेम्स <laughs> Uh, we learn something. We talk. We come out in the open. We thank Allah. We value Allah. We value Allah's Deen. We value His religion. You see, it's not about focusing on our beliefs. It's about focusing on the values. And what you value is what you're going to end up doing. The sisters who are struggling with the hijab, they value a certain thing that goes against their beliefs and. they focus on that value which is not aligned to Allah and his messenger in the Quran and sunnah it's not no disrespect that doesn't mean you can't fix your values i'm just telling you the brain science behind this the spiritual science behind this hope that's making sense and just so you know i'm not going to translate the urdu i'm not i'm not going to translate the urdu go figure it out ask a question in the comment section figure it out i've learned to not give the answer i don't want to give the answer why do i go off on tangents why do i make it so difficult because it should be hard to learn because when you have to sacrifice from your own self to learn you're going to be more invested that's why when you pay out of your pocket for an alam course or something like that you're really committed to it like hey i'm money but that doesn't always happen why why doesn't that always happen That happens to the gym. We pay for the gym. Why aren't we committed to that? Ask you. Beliefs and values. It all comes down to that. Whenever you have a a, a little, and like like I said, think about any turmoil you have. Forget about leaving Islam. Forget about the hijab. Think about your salah. You're not praying it. You feel bad about it, don't you? That's a sign of iman. Enjoy it. Love it. Feel it. Enjoy it. Make use of it. Plant it. You know. You know. Water it. Take care of it. Blossom it. because it can get taken away. Don't take it for granted. Don't take it for granted. Every single messenger came and gave their count their their, their 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 people, their nation, their comb, comb, comb or comb, comb. I don't know. I don't know. Honeycombs? I don't know. I don't know. They gave their nations warnings. Warnings of what's to come. Their nations did not want to believe. warning 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 until the warnings were lifted and it was going to just come through it's just going to happen it was just going to happen all the warnings that the prophets gave come into fruition except for one comb who are they who is that nation tell me in the comment section below who's the comment section below oh she's giving me the the bell mashallah no problem take care god bless you have a good day Almost fell off. I don't want to step on the mud. Ask you go back to prayer, huh? I'm listening. I'm here waiting for that. Keep waiting. Learning should be a fun. Learning should be a struggle. You should enjoy the struggle because you value the learning. You value the struggle. It is difficult to pray. Who said it was easy? That's why we're getting paradise for it. Yeah, eventually it becomes easy, but in the beginning it's difficult. Deal with it. That's what happens. You got to go through that dip process of the difficulty to get on the other side of enjoyment. In the beginning it's going to be a little tough, but then you're going to fall in love with it. It's supposed to be difficult in the beginning. Why does anyone talk about that? Let's talk about it, right? Let's talk about the struggles of salah. Would you like that? Get in the bottom. Get in the bottoms. Tell me. Tell me if you like it. And even if you don't tell me that you like it, I'm still probably going to do it. Why? Because I not only value your opinion, but I value bringing you value. And if I believe I know something or have something that could bring you value, I'm going to show it to you. When I tell you to sponsor a Quran for only two dollars, it's because it's valuable. I'm telling you to do it, but don't do it. If you do it, you know. If you can't do it, I get it. PayPal, they don't accept PayPal, and blah blah blah. I get it. I I know, I know. But just make a dua for us, you know. Make a dua for us. 
You believe that praying Salah is the right thing to do. It's a part of your religion, of course. But you value watching the football match, the Fortnite. You value seeing LeBron play. You value seeing my man Bismillah Booker play. It's okay. Value that too. It's okay. There's nothing wrong with, you know, valuing uh, football or anything of that nature. It's wrong to overvalue it. It's wrong to value it more than the messenger saw us in them. It's, it's bad to value it more than the deen of Allah, than the command of Allah. You see? It's bad when you value it more than obe- the obedience of Allah. Does that mean? I hope that's making sense. Okay? That's when it's bad. When you overvalue it, you value it too much. To the point where it value tips over valuing and, and obedience to Allah that you want to watch that. So your beliefs are telling you to pray. Your values are telling you to watch the game. Ugh. Your heart is uneasy. Your heart is uneasy. And a lot of you Arab speakers out there would know the beauty of the word kalb. Right? You guys would know the beauty of the word heart in Arabic itself. Tell us about it. Get in the comment section. Teach us. Teach us. What makes you think that, you know, you're here to watch me learn? I'm here to listen and learn from ya, man. Get in the comment section because I value. See, once again, what do you value? Based upon that, that's what you're going to do. You want to leave Islam? Go ahead. What did you value about Islam? What did you value, right? What did you believe in? What did you value about Islam? Sometimes our our values are not aligned to our beliefs. I hope you are understanding this now. Oh, mashallah, you just moved it over. May Allah forgive me. Sometimes our beliefs and our values don't align. So, SQ, what do we do to fix it? Do I just give up? Does everyone just leave? Does everyone just stop praying? Do they just take off the hijab? What do we do, SQ? How do we realign this? There goes your answer. You know the answer. You think SQ is going to teach you something different? You think I'm going to teach you something that you don't know? No. I'm challenging you to look within yourself. Reestablish those values. Go back to the beginning of those values. Go back. What do you value about this deen? You value your connection with Allah? Then focus on that. Focus on that connection with Allah. Correct me if I'm wrong, and please get in the in the comment section with this as well too, with this narration. Where a man felt, a companion felt, that he was no longer a Muslim. And Abu Bakr Siddiq, if I'm not mistaken, radiallahu an, you know, please correct me, please get in the comment section. You know, wanted to know what's going on with him, and he explained that, you know, I have these weird thoughts about Islam and Allah and all this, like I have these crazy thoughts. What should I do? You know, like, I, I feel like I'm leaving Islam. And this companion, I'm not, I don't want to keep saying Abu Bakr Sadiq because I could be wrong, right? But this other companion, but he's a very famous, popular companion, said, by Allah, like, I have that same problem. Does that mean I've left it too? And they went to the Messenger saw Can we just appreciate the fact that Yah can correct me in the comment section? No other religion has this. All you hadith deniers out there, you weaken Islam. When you take the hadith away from Islam, you weaken it. Ugh. You know, that's what makes it special, right? The narrations of the Messenger, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, like his, oh, subhanAllah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, his, his manners, the way he did things, the way he explained things, that's what makes our faith unique. Fools, bro, fools out there, fools. You got some weird teachers, bro. You got some weird teachers, bro. Here, trying to change reading comments. And this is not for me to, you know, discriminate against ASQ, but I don't believe in it. I'm unsubscribed. If you want to, but think about what I'm just saying right now. The fact that, one, imagine the resource of going to the Messenger Sallallahu and asking him this question face to face. How awesome is that? You don't need Google. You can just ask the Messenger Sallallahu Okay, now, this has been documented with such a beautiful, incredible, spiritual, amazing, miraculous science. It's a science behind it, bro. That it's still preserved till this day. 
that we all can derive lessons from an incident that happened over 1400 years ago and was documented and recorded for the well-being of us until when the day of judgment and they're ranked as far as what is the most authentic what is the most least authentic and there's science is behind it guys the science is behind it don't don't just talk you know smack about things that you don't understand stay stay in your lane some things are above your pay level it's just what it is it's just what i don't go into certain thick issues it's above my pay grade bro I'm not there. I haven't studied that. I haven't dedicated my life like these scholars have. We just like say, oh, you scholar, you listen to that scholar, you listen. Yeah, you're dumb, bro. They've, these scholars have dedicated their lives to this dean. And even if you disagree with them for whatever reason you think that you're even qualified to disagree with them, I can understand scholars disagreeing with scholars. Duh. But a layman disagreeing with a scholar, you're, you're just dumb. You're arrogant. You're arrogant. That's the problem. And dumb. Uh, it hits you, right? It hits you. Why does it hit you? Because this shakes up your beliefs and values. SQ, oh, he's so cringe. He's, why does he shout at you? Because my style of delivery is designed to shake you up. It's designed to shake you up. To challenge your beliefs and values. What, what, what do the tattoos and all these things represent? It challenges, oh, but brother, everything is great, brother. But the tattoo, Why? Because it challenges your beliefs and your values. Hang on a second. I always, I always believe that tattoos are not permissible. And now this guy is rocking them. And I, I want to value the work that he's doing. But it, I thought it's impermissible, the tattoo. And I don't know if I should lean towards liking him or disliking him. Because he has a tattoo. Ah, I hate you. So I'm not mad at you. I feel bad for you. Because you're having a, a whole conflict in here. A conflict in here. May Allah increase you. You're leaving Islam because your beliefs and your values don't align. You, you value that you should be able to go wherever you want to go and, you know. And by the way, just, just so y'all know, this whole thing was an inception. One th what, this is actually a video I wanted to do for a while now. But this was inception because someone just said that this Korean YouTuber left Islam. Okay, maybe. You ever thought that, you know, you ever thought that he plucked the fruit before it was ripe? Huh? Make some meaning. Plucked the fruit before it was ready. He wasn't ready yet. Maybe he dove too deep in first. Oh, but brother, it was because of the hate comments. Why? Because he values people's opinions more than the opinion of Allah. You want to know that? That's the video right here. But you had to search for it. You had to search for it in 21 minutes, 22 minutes of video. <laughs> that's the video right there. He valued people's opinions more than he valued the opinion of Allah. When you value the people's words and their opinions about you over the, the kalam, the, the words, the text of Allah, of course you're going to leave. Why wouldn't you leave? Because you overvalued something that doesn't deserve any value at all. Nothing comes above the opinion of Allah. Allah, everyone can hate me. But Allah, if you love me, that's all that matters. And I'm going to say my truth. I'm going to speak my truth. I'm going to say how I want to say it. I'm going to deliver how I want to deliver. I'm going to scream and shout and do whatever I want to do. Why? Because Allah, if you love me, that's all that matters. Do you know that when you feel that, you're liberated? Who's going to stop me except Allah? No one. No one. No one. You're going to stop me? No, no, no harm can befall me from you unless Allah wills it. My master. And if that harm comes to me, it's not because of your nasty, greedy, evil eye self. A'udhu Billah. May Allah protect us. May Allah remove people from the community who are, who are monafics, who are here to just harm. I'd be seeing there's a lot more people here to say nasty things about a religion. Ugh. Astaghfirullah. A'udhu Billah. Guys, there's like, seriously, like when I go out to do these social experiments, man, like, yo, it's wild out there. People will be saying, I got in this one, wait, wait for this video, right? I'm going to show you a sneak peek right here. The Bible is the word of the Most High God. From the book of Genesis to the book of Revelation. Excuse me. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Wait for this one. This one's a baddie, bro. This one's a baddie. Every Saturday we go now. Come out. Come out to Times Square. Give us some dollar with us. Watch how we do it. 
how we, me and my, my team, the Dean team, the crew, the, crew the, the, the kids, mashallah, it's a blessing. Who's going to stop me, huh? Allah. Allah. And, and if any harm came from you, I'll know it's a test from Allah. So who's, and you're giving me more rewards. Thank you. When your values are strictly with Allah, and I don't care, I don't care, anyone. SQ, I don't like the way you move. SQ, you talk like a hip hop rapper. I don't care, bro. I don't care. And it's not about like how the subtle art are not giving an F, the subtle art of not giving a falafel. You read that book and you just want to stop. I don't care about you. No, 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 no. You can tell that you care because it's still bothering you. The fact that you got to say it out loud, I don't care about you. My moves say I don't care about you. You understand? My mannerisms, my moods, the way I move, the way I carry myself just says I don't care about you. I'm not about you. I love you. I love you. Let's just be clear over here. You're not a number. I don't value. Like, let me just say, I appreciate all the subs. I see it. I see people saying it, but I don't value that. That's why I don't tell you to subscribe to my channel. I, yeah, that pop-up comes there because I paid like $10 for it. You know, I got to pay. I got to make use of it. You know what I mean? But I'm not, I'm not here to tell you to subscribe to me because you don't have to. And don't. I don't care. I don't care. Leave a comment. Go ahead. Leave a comment. Leave a comment. I just hope that you have a beautiful day. You know, and if you want to join the journey and you want to subscribe, come. Sure. I appreciate you. Welcome to the community. Welcome to the channel. But I value you. I don't value a number. I don't value a million subscribers. I don't value. I value bringing you value. And I want to dedicate my life to this, guys. Like, yeah, I don't get it. I want to dedicate my life to this. I went to South Africa. Should I have released those South Africa videos? I think they're phenomenal. SubhanAllah. I want to do this full time. I want to do this full time. I want to give Dawa full time. I feel like I already am. I have multiple jobs. But this is not me telling you my Dukbari Kahani. <laughs> it's not. It's just, it's just me saying what it is, you know. I do got a lot going on. But Allah has chosen me to do this. My mission. It's not a sacrifice. I'm away from my family right now. You know how many rewards my wife is earning for being patient with me? For, for being uh, understanding towards me? towards everything that I'm doing. You understand that? Anyways, this video is getting long right now. Beliefs and values. Forgive me if I've forgotten to complete a thought or a, an idea. Forgive me if that has happened. Uh, just know that I genuinely, I love you. <laughs> I saw what happened to Charlie D'Amelio. <laughs> and I'm not going to say I don't want that to happen to me because I'm not saying that it wouldn't because any, Allah could test me with anything. But it won't be because I, I don't value you guys. No way. No way. I'd do anything for you guys. I'm serious. I'd do anything for you guys. That's why I come out here. That's why I come out here. You see people looking. That's why I come out here. That's why I go to Times Square for the sake of Allah. To show you guys that, hey, that what can happen over here. We can do it with your support, with your love. And I'm sorry for telling you about the Patreon. I'm sorry about that. You know, I just say that, you know, there's so many other creators being supported that you're trying to freaking destroy Islam. I'm making a video about that. Stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for that. But just know that I love you for the sake of Allah. I hope my kufi's been on the whole time. I love you guys. Honestly, I love you guys. And I, I, I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses you and increases you. And just continues to honor you guys, you know. But if you guys could be a Patreon supporter, I'd really appreciate it. I just spent uh, nearly $600 yesterday on uh, SSD drives. Um, the connector for an SSD drive. Uh, I can't even remember. Like other memory stuff just for this. $500, $600. Can you believe that? That's a lot of money. And where does that come from? Not sponsorships, bro. I got to pull it around, but that's why I want the Patreon. The Patreon could really, really help. I'm telling you, and I have monthly expenses like this. So if you could become a Patreon member, I'd really, really appreciate it. But there's no, there's no forcing you. There's no forcing you. If you could support the Dawah, there's three tiers. Go for it. But support with whatever you can. 
Don't think a dollar won't help. Sure, go for it if you can. If that's all you can give, you know, go for it. But I'm not here to ask for any charity or anything like that. But you're really investing in this because I'm going to buy these things irrespective. I'm going to buy these things whether you give or not. But you have an opportunity to be an investor. I'm going to buy it no matter what. So you have an opportunity to be an investor in where you can just literally invest in your akhirah. Each video that I make, you get a portion of the reward for it. Hope that makes sense. Uh, listen, guys, I love you. Honestly, for the sake of Allah, I love you so much. Uh, this video is passing 30 minutes. Can you believe that? I'm such a G, bro. I love you. The real ones out there, I love you. First three people to message me, uh, email me, <laughs> get a gift card from Amazon. I love you all for the sake of Allah. And until next time, I'm out.